Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Um, we have a bit of a hair emergency today, but I honestly cannot be bothered to fix it. That's beautiful. Today we are doing another food video. I love doing food videos. I try to do them as often as possible, but like I've said 5,000 times, I eat the same shit every day. So now that I've kind of switched it up, I can do another video. Much like my other videos, I'm gonna be showing you guys what I eat as well as um, like the calorie information, the macro information, just so you can get a good idea of what fits within your macros and your calories for the day. Today I am gonna be using the LifeSum app again. LifeSum is sponsoring this video, so thank you to LifeSum. They sponsored my last food video and you guys blew it the fuck up. You guys were clicking that link, click, click, click. So they came back and asked to sponsor another video. And since I used them anyway, I was like, fuck yeah. And since you guys were so adamant about clicking the link last time and checking out the app, they are offering a 30% off code for a one year subscription for the service. And that is gonna be in the description below as well. So there's going to be a link just to download the app to check it out if you want. And then also a second link, which is gonna be to uh, get 30% off the subscription if you're interested. So for breakfast or my first meal of the day, I am making oats, which I have shown a lot on my channel. So I'm not gonna go too much in depth. Um, I know you're probably sick of seeing oats. This is the only meal that's gonna be the same for today. I promise I do have new things things that I'm eating that I'm gonna show you. But yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put these in the microwave. Something different I am doing today is I'm trying to make it look nice for a thumbnail. So I'm gonna try and be, you know, What the fuck is that word? I'm just gonna try to make my food look appetizing for once. All right guys, so here is the LifeSum app if you haven't seen it before. Um, this is just my log of everything I'm eating for breakfast. So I can show you here, I've just went ahead and put it in, but I just have 40 grams of my one minute oats, my premium cocoa powder, three blend berry mix, my Vegas Sport, which is my protein powder, which I'll show you in a second. And yeah, did I say banana? I can't fucking remember. So as you can see, it's gonna be 522 calories. I really like how the app prioritizes health over strictly calorie counting. So you can see here, for example, they have rated all my foods, whether or not they are um, good foods. So the smiley face obviously means that they are good and nutritious foods. And then down here, it also tells you if you're on track for your calories, but it also tells you your nutrient distribution. Um, and as you can see, mine actually says imbalanced. You can see I have a healthy level of carbs and protein, but it is low in fat. And the reason that is, is because as I have mentioned before on my channel, I have a hard time digesting fats and I actually eat fewer fats than the regular person. So that's why. How am I gonna make this look good? Fuck. Ooh, oh, oh no. All right, this is my first meal of the day. Not as pretty as I was hoping, but that's it. There we go. Forgot to do this. So this is my protein powder. I've used this forever. You've seen it 8,000 times. It's just Vegas Sport Mocha. So I'm gonna do a serving of this with uh, water. I'm gonna need that and I will check in soon. I need everyone to look at this wig I bought. And I know it look, it's not on properly and it looks fucking ridiculous, but I just wanted to let it be known that I'm gonna make it work, okay? And it's gonna be cute. I just need to put like my hair in right. I gotta do my makeup all full leaky. And I'm gonna be cute. Hi guys, so it is 2.39, which means it is time for me to eat again. I haven't eaten since I had my oats. Right now I'm gonna be making pancakes and I've teased these pancakes a lot on Instagram and everyone's like, girl, like what's the recipe? <laughs> this is the pancake mix I use. It is by Arrowhead Mills and it is their protein pancake and waffle mix. And just listen to these macros, okay? For 140 calories, you get 16 grams of protein. 16 grams, and that's actually the only macro I care about. So 16 grams of protein for this uh, for 140 calories. So I actually have two servings, 280 calories. So 32 grams of fucking protein. And I also like to put blueberries in my pancakes because yum. I'm also going to just put the rest of these raspberries on top because they're actually really soft already and I don't want them to go bad. I'm gonna add a banana on top as well and I'm gonna try and make it look pretty again for the thumbnail. And then usually I'll also put chocolate chips, but your bitch has been eating too many chocolate chips. I will come into the kitchen, like put a handful, eat it, and then wash it down with chocolate milk. And like, that's just gotta end. So I am not allowing myself any of these chocolate chips. I'm going on a detox. All right, so I'm just using my handy dandy food scale as per usual. Uh, one serving is 40 grams, so we're gonna go for 80. So all you gotta do is literally mix it with water, no milk or anything. And that's gonna turn the batter blue. Make sure to spray your pan with some um, 
oil so it doesn't stick. And I like to just make one massive pancake, but if you want to make multiple, that is perfectly okay as well. I used to do that before I got fucking lazy. Okay guys, so I turned the lights back off because it looked really bad. But I'm gonna sound fucking crazy, but I've fallen into the hole of um, like life after death theories. Have you guys heard the theory that like, when we die, we simply are reborn in a new body and, and the light we see at the end of our life is just the light we see when we're coming out of the womb. Like everyone says like, when you die, follow the light. And then that light is actually just you being birthed by someone else. I'm in the dangerous part of YouTube, okay? My pancake smells like it's burning. Now, I might be the world's worst pancake flipper. Boom! I don't know if you guys can tell, but look how puffy it is. Mm. Now I'm just going to put on my bananas. I'm gonna put on my raspberries. And just throw some around, I guess. And then finally, I'm just gonna take some of my light maple syrup and put it on. That is what I'm talking about. I have my banana, I have my blueberries, I have my maple syrup, uh, the protein mix obviously, and then the raspberries, and it comes to around 579 calories. Um, imbalanced, once again, who wants to guess? Low in fat. <laughs> I will be eating more fat for dinner, by the way, so I'm not gonna be completely deficient in fat. But yes, yeah, so here are the macros. 35 grams protein, 106 grams of carbs, and five grams of fat. Oh my lord. <laughs> that pancake is so fucking good, but it is very heavy and it keeps you full for a long time. And you can definitely tell you just had a good snack. Pancake or baby, you tell me. Oh, oh, oh. It's time for dinner. It is 4.55, but it's gonna take some prep for this dinner. I know what you're thinking, wow. Jordan's actually prepping something. Yes, I am. So for tonight, I am going to be making Caesar salad. I found a new Caesar dressing that I'm really excited to try. I haven't, I've yet to find a vegan one I like, so it's in the fridge, we're gonna try that. But I'm gonna be also making it with tofu and, and chickpea croutons. So basically, I read online that this is a thing you could do. I'm not entirely sure if it's gonna work or if I'm gonna do it properly, but Basically with the air fryer, you can supposedly make really good crispy chickpea croutons. So that's what we're gonna be trying today. So I'm just gonna take this, put it in a bowl. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw in a little bit of garlic powder and then I'm going to very lightly spray them with this olive oil pan. So if you are unfamiliar with an air fryer, they are incredible. They basically fry your food without any oil. I'm just going to put the chickpeas in. Yum, yum, like so. Them back in the basket and then I'm just going to put this in here and then I'm going to put it to around 390 400 ish degrees and then I'm going to put it on I'm gonna put 18 minutes um, but I'm gonna check after like 10 okay guys so on to the next step all I'm gonna do is I'm going to drain this tofu um because we are gonna be adding tofu to the salad as well and I'm going to drain it by using my tofu press which if you don't know what this is it's Pretty straightforward, you put the tofu block in here, this goes here, and then you can really like, you know, put it down and it like squeezes all the water out. Great explanation, Jordan. I'm gonna press it for about 10 to 15 minutes as long as the chickpeas are cooking because the tofu is going in the air fryer after the chickpeas. Hello? Hi. All right guys, sorry my uh, friend called, as you just saw, actually my roommate, my you, you know her, you've seen her before. But um, when I was on the phone, I just went ahead and I um, rinsed and ripped some romaine lettuce. I am also going to be adding some nutritional yeast. All right, so the chickpeas are done. I don't know if you can see them. Looking nice and crispy. They kind of look like uh, popcorn kernels right now. I'm only gonna be using half of the tofu cube. So I'm actually not even gonna fuck with this one right now because um, I'm not entirely sure how air fried tofu is gonna refrigerate. But there we go, I just did a bunch of little tofu cubes. So I'm gonna go put it in the air fryer. And this is the dressing I found. I heard a lot of great things about it. It is by Earth Island, which in the United States is called Follow Your Heart, just so you know. It's not wanting to focus. I don't know how to use 
my camera yet. But basically it has the Caesar dressing, chickpeas, mushrooms, romaine lettuce, sprouted tofu, and tomato. It comes to 458 calories and these are the macros. So 32 grams protein, 40 grams carbs, and 20 grams fat. All right guys, so it actually only took about 10 minutes for me to get my tofu all crispy. That's a lot of food, a lot of density. Don't mind the mini uh, Christmas tree. Okay guys, so it's still only like 6.10, but um, I've just been working all day, honestly, and I wanna go lie in my bed and take my makeup off and look like a troll. So I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna eat tonight. I know earlier when I was making pancakes, I was going off about how I eat too much chocolate and I gotta cut that shit out and I'm going on a chocolate detox, but I've decided I deserve chocolate today. So I am gonna be eating this. This is just a little mini moo. Um, moo Free is the brand. And then with this, I'm probably gonna eat it with a banana because I love eating chocolate and bananas together so this is my final day as you can see I um, had around 1800 calories and that leaves me with 500 in my deficit like I said I'm usually closer around 2000 but I didn't move much today so I'm just going to stay at that although let's be real every time it's like 9 p.m. I slither my little sneaky ass back into the kitchen and eat more so I would add another 100 calories on this total for my 9 p.m. snack. But yeah, here's my day today. Looking pretty good, looking pretty good. Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. As always, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on Wednesday, because I'm filming two videos a week again. Bye.